Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak. I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. Does your child feel breathing difficulty at night? It can be a sign of asthma. So in this video, we talk about breathing difficulty at night. What are the symptoms? What are the possible diagnoses? How do we investigate these children? And how do we treat them? Now, as we know, asthma is a very common problem which we see in, in young children, adolescents and young adults. It is a chronic problem. Many children with asthma who are not well controlled, they have ongoing symptoms. They have daytime symptoms like coughing, wheezing and breathlessness. They can have exercise induced symptoms. That is some coughing or having breathlessness more on exercise. But they can have nighttime symptoms as well. They can frequently wake up at night and they can be coughing, they can be having whistling sounds in the chest, wheezing, they can be breathless, that interferes with sleep. But there's a group of patients who have symptoms only at night. So they're well in the day. But when they sleep, they get up in the night and they can have very frequent symptoms. These symptoms are usually in the form of coughing. They can be in the form of feeling breathless. They can be in the form of having tightness in the chest. They can be uneasiness which can be felt. And they can be sometimes a squeaky or a whistling sound which can be produced from the chest which is called as wheezing. Sometimes parents or even children are able to appreciate a wheezing sound coming from the chest, something like this. Mm. So these are symptoms of a nocturnal asthma. Now, why are symptoms worse at night? Well, the exact reason why the symptoms are worse at night is not known. But it is thought to be, you know, mediated by certain, certain problems. When you're sleeping at night, your exposure to indoor allergens like dust mite is significantly higher, especially in the bedroom. The environment is cooler and also there can be changes in the production of hormones in our body. So it is strongly believed that the cortisol in the body reduces at night. The lowest level is found somewhere like 3 or 4 a.m. And the cortisol, when it is low, the inflammation can increase and produce more symptoms. These are the possible reasons why asthma can be worse at night. Now, do we have any other disorders which present similarly? Well, there can be some other diagnosis which can have similar symptoms. Sometimes children have allergic nose and they have a post-nasal trip and can be coffee at night. There can be sleep problems like confusion or arousals when children can wake up in the night and can behave in similar ways. There could be situations like anxiety or panic attacks which can present in similar ways. Children sometimes can have snoring and sleep apneas and can have similar problems. So these are uh, things which can present with nighttime symptoms which are similar to symptoms with which children with asthma present to us with. Now, how do we diagnose a child who present to us with nighttime symptoms that this child has asthma? Now, in children who have daytime symptoms as well, who have symptoms on breathless, of breathlessness on exercise, things are quite easy. 
we can do a lung function or a spirometry in an older child. In younger children, we have a tool, a newer lung function modality called as impulse oscillometry, which we can do for our younger children. But children or adolescents or young adults who present only with nighttime symptoms sometimes can be difficult to diagnose. And that is the reason why they get misdiagnosed, they're not treated well, and they keep on suffering. So, how do we diagnose them? Well, a lung function is, is definitely which is very useful. Now, occasionally there would be children who have nighttime symptoms and have asthma but can have a normal lung function during the day. Now, in these situations, uh, we have few options. One option is to monitor their PEF, which is a peak expiratory flow. We can do that morning and evening. It's a very small instrument which can be kept at home. And you can also do a PEF at the night when they are having symptoms. And in children with nocturnal asthma, we find that the PEF in the day and in the, in the evenings are fine, but at night they are significantly low. Sometimes, if the situation is not getting clarified, the trial of asthma medicine is something which, which can help us a lot. And when we start medicines, the symptoms really disappear and that makes a proper diagnosis. Now, how do we treat these symptoms? Well, if children are having asthma, it is poorly controlled. Obviously, we need to treat them with preventive medicines, which are usually in the form of a inhaler, which contains inhaled corticosteroids. Everyone needs to know that inhaled corticosteroids is the standard of care. The doses are very minute. They are harmless. They are absolutely safe, even in long term. There can be an oral option as well, which is a tablet in the form of Montelukast, but it is definitely not as good as the inhaled medicine. Some children where they keep on having symptoms, we add a long-acting bronchodilator, either salmetrol or formetrol, which is again in the form of an inhaler combined with inhaled corticosteroids. So if your child is having breathing difficulty at night in the form of coughing, wheezing, breathlessness, difficulty in breathing, chest tightness and frequent waking up. You need to get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist or allergist and get your child properly diagnosed and properly treated so that they can enjoy their life and their childhood. So for more information, you can log on to our website, ankitparak.com. Thank you.